then the next important question what is horizontal cluster so it is a form of clustering where you add two or more servers okay and these physical servers are identical having the same application deployed across all the machines okay to distribute the traffic and maintain the high availability and this is the best form of clustering as we keep increasing the hardware when the existing resource got eaten up by the growing traffic needs so make sure you answer this question if you are a mid level developer then the next question how can you run your application on https to make it more secure then the answer is again you need to have a key store file okay so we need to configure the location of key store file in server.xml okay and we need to enable the https port from server.xml as well the interviewer basically is not interested to know the actual tag over here but he might be interested to know whether you know the things or not okay what is agp protocol and how it is different from a uh, http protocol so this could be one of the question so basically in tomcat we have different connector ports okay and they are http agp https etc uh, agp is similar to http but it is intended for communication among the apache products okay it is basically a binary form of http for example if you integ integrating apache http server with apache tomcat server then using ajp for communication would you know enhance the performance so ajp is just a binary form of http okay so this is again a frequently asked question you could also be asked simple terms like what is high availability and how would you ensure that okay so basically if you are if you are a middleware uh, admin person you would be knowing that a uh, high available simply means uh, your application should be available 24 cross 7 under any circumstances no matter your hardware fails or some part of the network fails or or your application crashes or due to some security patching or upgrade you require to bring down the server in those cases also the application has to be up and running uh, for the end user okay so this is uh, a general concept that we should know and the second part how can we ensure high availability the answer to this is somewhat related to the question that we already discussed uh, and it can be achieved via horizontal clustering okay so in a cluster if one node fails the other can take up the request from the end user and can service the request then you could also be asked for some error codes like can you explain the http error codes like 200 what is the significance of 200 404 301 403 403 or 500 etc so the answer to this is 200 as general response code which says everything is okay okay then we have 404 we know that it is something related to page not found so basically the url that the client is requesting if at that re uh, url the resource is not found then the server gives this error code as 404 then we have 301 301 is a type of a redirect code where server tells the client that uh, the resource you are looking for is not at this url but at some different url so it it provides the redirect url back to the client and the client again makes the call to that different url okay so this is a sort of redirect code then 403 403 is something related to security context so if any permission related issue or some other problem that you might enco encounter okay so that uh, in that case the there is a http response code 403 that you might encounter okay then 500 500 is something which is related to internal server error 
500 simply means that some exception has happened on server side it could be some jasper exception or could be some io exception on server side or any exception which has hindered the normal rendering of jsp and servlet so in that case you would encounter 500 uh, response code okay what is jndi and what are its advantages so this is again a very common question a jndi is just like a directory uh, which has key value pairs for example let's say if we want database location information to be kept in jndi then we can simply add a key like db server as key and set its value with the ip or the host name of the server where the where the database actually resides okay the advantage of using jndi is that you no longer need to update your property file or xml file of the application uh, whenever the location parameter or some other external parameter changes uh, with which your application might be interacting with or need information so all the integration parameters are managed by the server admin and not the developers okay so even if the location changes if the same thing is updated on the server side we need not require to you know change the values in the property file or the xml file of the application and then redeploy the application 